Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. So I've been going around off camera, uh, just trying to unlock all the things that I that I passed up early on in the game. And I think I've got to all the storage lockers except for two, where the police kept uh, tasering me and, and otherwise being a pain in the neck. Um, so we'll come back to those probably a little bit later. I do... I do want to actually do some main quest there. Uh, unfortunately, what I did was I went back to um, I went back to to talk to uh, what's his face uh, down in down in his basement to see if he could put the install the neuroplasticity thing into my brain, but he's not there. Um, so I assume I have to do a main mission before he'll come back. Also, we have a side mission still where we have to talk to um, Seraph again. Uh, we've already talked to him once, but we have to talk to him again. I assume that that triggers again once we uh, once we do another main mission. So I decided to come over and just see if there were any any loose ends I need to tie up with Melania, uh, as well as you know come in here and look around since I didn't do it last time. This down here just leads to another way into this place. Uh, I have not been able to get through these things because there's a camera there, but I don't know that there's anything over there that I actually care for. We've been upstairs. I talked to Melania again. She had some. You know, final thoughts, I guess, on it. It's like, hey, if you need me to do things for you, I can do things for you. Uh, and I just told her, like, yeah, what, what's going to happen to all these guys again and all that stuff? And they're like, uh, she's like, well, the the one chick will be okay, but the guy's pretty much screwed. And so I got done with her. I came down here. As soon as I round this corner, there was a guy that came in. He's this this guy over here. And he's a, a document agent. And he just had like a little, uh, you know, I, I shot him. He had a little, um, you know, PDA on him that just was like, hey, you can get three more times that you can uh, get some money out of these people. And and that was that. And I, I didn't really gather too much information from him. I don't know why he suddenly triggered, but he did. Um, so that was a thing. And then I discovered when I came back out here again. I discovered that you can turn off these car alarms and actually go into the trunks. And I got some credits out of that. So I got some credits out of that. Now, the other thing is I walked down this way and I looked over here and there was a door. And I said, well, I haven't obviously been through that door. So I didn't know that that was a... I didn't know that that was a, a thing. So I came in this door. Started looking around. Saw a thing to break. Brings me into this little room here. This over here was had electric was electrified. As you can see, I had thrown a bunch of things in here to get over to the breaker panel and turn that off. But I also went through... Ooh, there's some crafting parts that I missed. All right, because that whole floor was electrified. Then I came over and I broke this thing and came through this way. And this is the room that, this, that that leads to, basically. It comes through that door here. There's three weapons lockers that had some various things in them, crafting parts and whatnot. No real weapons, though. Uh, and I don't see anything else in here immediately jumping out at me. Uh, but then I came through here, right? And I noticed when I come over this way, there's another vent. And this leads me somewhere completely different. And it's, uh, I wanted to bring you guys in while I did this. Because there's music playing and stuff. And there's a breaker panel here. So there's a door that needs to be powered in order to get this keypad here. The breaker panel turns that on, but it also electrifies this, this place. So I'm kind of looking around. There's also some uh, various cameras set up here. That's I don't know what's going on there. There's a television that's turned off and various other things here. City tour pamphlet. So this is some kind of weird back area that I just happened to stumble onto. So I don't know. I, every time I want to do a main mission, the game's like, no, there's more stuff for you to see. So here we are. 20 episodes later, still looking at this stuff and not, not even having even done the fourth mission yet. So I'm going to turn this breaker panel on and see what I can do about this. So that is leaping across the water puddles. But it is not actually electrifying this door though, is it? I'm actually putting electricity in there. Hmm... I wonder, I wonder if I turn this off again, so do I need to manipulate something here to get this to unlock? Is that something I need to do, or do I need to give it power myself? 
I wonder if I I wonder if there's like an augment that I oh that's a nice uh, coat of arms there. Oh look there's a there's a there's a second floor here I didn't see. I wonder if there's a like an augment that I get that allows me to do something with that. Like electric to turn something on remotely or something like that. Let's see, let's grab up get up here and see look around. So there's a there's a window out there. And this is all overgrown. This window here, I guess, is just the way in and out as needed. Um, hmm. Interesting. There's also another there's another window over there that looks like it's something that I could possibly get into. I wonder if that's I wonder if that's a thing that I could get into. Um, I don't know. I don't know for sure. But anyway, uh, is there anything else here? I mean, this window gives me access to this overhang. Alright, which doesn't really give me access to anything else. Just looks like it's just a way to get out of there uh, without going through the door again. Yeah, it's very weird. Oh, you know what that is? That's my apartment window. That's what that is. I was wondering why that window was open. That's I can kind of see. That's my apartment right there. I can see my house from here. That's what it is. All right, because this is my apartment complex. So okay. All right. I don't know how to get, gain, gain access to this other place though, because I can see it arcing over here, but I don't have anything. Is there like? Something I can make it arc over to get to that door. I mean, cardboard box is not going to let it arc. This is disabled. There's got to be. There's got to be a way in here. There's got to be a way that I can like re-energize that or something. Like, is there a metal box somewhere that I can just pick up and throw there that would make it arc a little bit further? I mean, that's not really how electricity works, but you know, <laughs> work with me here. I'm trying to figure this thing out. If I can. Let's see what this does. So it's coming down from there. Marking over that way. But it's not giving me a use of the keypad. Which is unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Don't know at all. I don't know why this this you know thing is on either and and doing stuff. Um, there's no wall here I can break through either. Is anything on the wall that I could just pull up like wires or something? I don't think so. I mean, there's a television I can turn on, which I don't really need to turn on. Um, I wonder if turning that on, well, we got a little, we got a save, save happening. I wonder if turning that on does, actually does do something. Nah. Nah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Alright. Well, that's a, that's a bummer. We'll have to see, we'll have to make a mental note of this place. And see what we can do about it. So, Alright. So be it. Let's get out of this place. Let's actually go and do a main mission. It's I know it's it's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing that I might actually do a main mission for a change. <laughs> for those of you who have been waiting patiently forever, oh man, I can't even I can't even jump. For those of you who have been waiting patiently forever for me to actually do something in the game, now is your payoff. Now is your payoff. Let's get out of here. Let's drop on down to, to the ground. You're going to have to figure out what, what I need to do there. To figure it out indeed. Uh, car trunk search. I wonder... I think the, uh, I think the cops are going to like it if I, if I hack their car. <laughs> I have a feeling they're not going to like it too much. Let's just do... Of course that drone is going around there. Let's do this. There we go. Alright. Mm -hmm. Hello, drone. How you doing? 
Oh, is everything? You cool? We cool? Everybody cool? Yep, everybody's cool. Everybody's cool, so I'm gonna go and just look in this police car. Yeah, it's empty. Damn it, man! At least I got 10, 10 XP for that. Alrighty then, I will rejoin you folks once we get over to the main mission area. That's the, uh, okay, yeah. Alright, I know what that is. Alright, see you, see you in, a minute, in a moment. Okay, I've accidentally stumbled into TF-29. I came in through this little back entrance here. So I saw this was a augmented entrance for this this bar here, and I thought maybe I could get in there. But then I saw this window, and I was like, oh, I'll just climb through the window, and I did, and there were some crafty parts there. Open this up, and I opened this door, and it gave me the elevator key code. So, uh, that's a thing. All right, I guess we'll look around TF-29 then for a little bit and see where it's, see what secrets it has, what secrets it holds. Alright, well, that's just another way in and out. Alright. Why well, they have so many ways in and out of just TF-29. But I guess, I guess it is what it is. So, is there something up there? Seems like there would be, doesn't there? Uh, let's see if I can, if I can even make it up there. That's going to be a, a thing. Nope, nope, can't make it up there. Okay. It's, it does look like there would be something up there, though, doesn't there? All right, well, we come through here, and we come through there, and then I guess I'll open this up, look around. It's in the drawers. Oh, you got a gun in there. Already a week late. A week. I can't wait two days. I'm sorry. There's paper That's here. The we can do, unless you want to fill out the T46 form. All right, what's T46? going on? T46 yes, form. That would help us expedite the process. It will only take a few minutes. You can use the computer right away. All right, what's going on? My advice: if you were thinking about shipping something with these people, don't. <laughs> okay, is TF29 just sitting in front of a a shipping? It's just it's the secret base behind the shipping place. Interesting. All right, let's talk to Marcy. I have to help this customer. If you have other things to do, maybe you could come back later. You have some gigantic key keyboards. Holy crap! I can put my whole the whole palm of my hand on one of those letters. Jeez, I'm gonna steal from your drawers though. I'm gonna take your money, Marcy. I assume that we know each other, and that's and that's cool with you. It'll be an extended loan. Don't don't worry about it. All right, away we go. Down into somewhere here. Picture frame. All right, yeah, it's like it's like get smart here. Got all these things to use. I'll have our key cap card. Yep, that's nice. what we got. This whisper chip you gave me. It's an easy plant. You're heading into TF-29? Already? Already. 29. So waiting around while we lick our wounds. Fair enough. There'll be a data port on the NSN's motherboard. Access it and then just plug and play. Or plug and record in this case. Got it. I'll let you know when it's done. Plant the whisper chip. Go to the office. There got it. Agent Adam Jensen. Oh, I got a practice kit just for actually starting the main mission <laughs> for a change. How about them apples? Oh, okay, there's all kinds of things I need to get in, gain access to, it looks like. And a copy machine? No, it's a <laughs> it's a scanning machine. All right. Uh, what do we have over here? Aria Argento. I'm going to have to look through your, or Aria Argento, whatever you want to say. I have to admit, get through your your stuff here. I'm sorry, my dear, but it, it's necessary. I must look at all the things. Mine templates. All right, newspapers. Oh, hello, computer. There's also a locked terminal over here. Hello, computer. Hack. Yes, please. I'm sure she won't mind. I'm sure of it. Um, we gotta go around the horn here, it looks like. So we'll go... Bam. 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 Let's go five. Stop worm. All right, we got it. <laughs> Access denied. 
Yeah, that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. All right. Well, that didn't that didn't quite work out so well, did it? <laughs> it's in lockdown, but that's okay. We got another terminal here while we're waiting. Security rating four on this one. Eesh, eesh. I don't think I have any. Uh, nope, I don't have any things left. Uh, actually, you know what? I could craft a few things probably. So let's go here. Ah, uh, yes, multi tools. Yes, please. It's the only thing worth crafting, honestly. Over and over and over again. There we go. So now we go into our inventory and we attach this to number seven. Excellent. And we'll do a little bit of seven and then this right here. I assume this will work out quite well for us. There we go. All right, put that away and get the safe open. Oh, I gotta actually go in here and say unlock. There we go, put that away. Here, gas grenades, EMP grenades, frag grenade. Eh. Eh. Alright, let's, uh, let's try another. You know, I could probably just look. She's probably got a password around somewhere, I bet. This is only a security rating of two, and it's giving me that much that much of a problem. I guess because I don't have any I don't have any worms and stuff to do it. Um well, that's a thing. I guess, you know what, let's do... I guess I should probably do a fortify at some point. Maybe that would... Maybe that would help matters a bit. Anomaly detected. Fortify that. And... No, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Alright. We're going to have to try again. Let's see what, what about this keypad. Oh, that's a level 5, huh? Alright, well, we know what you do about level 5s. We hack them like there's nobody's business. And this is now open for us. Grenade launcher. I think I need all these things, but I'm going to take them anyway. Sniper rifle, stun gun. I should probably take the stun gun instead of the sniper rifle. Honestly. Uh, let's see. Do I have a stun gun with on me? I have a regular pistol, which I'm never going to use. Uh, let's drop the sniper rifle. Alright, because I'll never use that probably. Let's take it, let's take the stun gun. In case I, in case I need it for, for purposes. And, awesome. And all that stuff. I really want to get in, into that computer, but I guess we'll, maybe there's a, maybe I'll get lucky and find a password around here somewhere. Proof glass, shooting range. Well, this is my first time at work. How's, how's everybody doing? Jensen's back. The party can start. Security holding cells. Huh. Anybody in here? Well, that's a hell of a security thing, isn't it? <laughs> suddenly, suddenly concrete. Uh, briefing room seven. Guys talking in there. Room six. Alright, just want to look around a bit. Hey, analyst, how are you? We're still trying to find the identity of the train station bomber, but we don't have much to go on. Well, that's good to know. Thank you. How about you? The police response to the attack wouldn't have been so extreme if they were better organized and less corrupt. Yeah, well, you know, go ahead and organize them. Nobody's nobody's got the kettle on. What's what's going on here? Oh, you, no, that's not consistent with you've now you locked me in this area. Okay, there we go. My blood is about sixty percent caffeine. All right. Smiley was going on about hexogen. I don't know what he was talking about. Smiley? We have a smiley. Nice one in Dubai, Jensen. Patience was the first thing you. Thank you, thank you, my man. Thank you. Go get me some coffee, would you? Hey, how are you doing? This is bad. We need to increase security at the CDC. Well then, hop to it, lady. I think Director Miller's making a mistake. Maybe we can all our resources into finding these Dubai newcomers. Dubai newcomers. All right. Well, and you? The Vector Institute is one of the only places in the world that has smallpox samples. You have about 92 zippers, my my lady. Uh, and this this zipper doesn't even go all the way up. So I don't know what I don't know. 
I don't know what kind of fetish you've got, but I've never heard of a zipper fetish, so there, there, there's there's a thing, apparently. Oh, hey, you going to clip into each other? Uh, hey, what, what are you up to? So you succeeded in Dubai. Big deal. Oh, well, whoop de do to you, too, I guess. Zippers? <laughs> Analyst? State police radio chatter gave us IDs on two more bombing victims. Sisters on vacation. Just senseless. Well, that's, that's good though. I wish you had... I wish you had... These guys might as well be ghosts. I wish you had uh, subtitles. Anyway, uh, you? I've been trying to ID the bodies of the people who crashed the operation in Dubai. Well, uh, let me know how that works. Oh, IT? I found the IT lady. In the last two days, web traffic in Prague has gone up 73%. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is, uh, is it all porn searches? Because, you know, you know, bombings and all that stuff. Anyway, uh, mobile printers. Uh, it's more analysts who are looking at some hangar building? Question mark? Nothing. The thing about the Russians is, they never tell you the whole story. Well, all right, you're, you're a ray of sunshine. How about you? Not now, Jensen. I'm dealing with the situation here. Cold War's gone. You're also typing on a ginormous keyboard. I hope you know that. Uh, you're not even type. You're not even hitting all the buttons. You're like hitting the air. Like what? What? What is up with you? How about you? You probably haven't heard yet, but TF29 now has an official psychologist. Oh, is it me? Can I be it? Can I be a psychologist? I'm really good. I I I I I, I was augmented and I didn't want to be. Um, do you want to be augmented? <laughs> Uh, where's HR at? Can you, can you point me to them? Anyway, how about you, guy? Finally finished the backup exfiltration plan for the upcoming Jakarta mission. Mm, all right, you carry on, nerd. How about you? I'm working on identifying the bodies from the train station. Maybe we'll get lucky, and one of them will have known terrorist connections. All right, and I'll I'll be over here with my uh, magic eight ball. What about this computer? This guy just Clements. Clemens, did you? Ooh, you're only like level one. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, <laughs> this is this is probably gonna be a bad idea. Let me before we do this. Uh, wait. Um, let's connect. Before we do this, let me uh, let me quick save just in case I piss everybody off. I don't want to piss off the IT girl over there, but you never know. <laughs> uh, let's go. I guess we'll go with this one here. It looks like this has a node going out. Anomaly detected. Uh, right, wow, that was fast. Holy crap. That just... That... Wow. I didn't even get a chance to do anything there. Holy hell. <laughs> it's, it's like I'm standing still. It's like I don't have level 3 access to do things. Crap, man. Uh, alright, so... Ooh. Ooh, we got a uh, little kitchenette, little kitchenette area. Uh, who, who drank all the beer? Well, there's some beer here. Uh, what is that? Froggy, Froggy Krozenuts, Froggy Krozenuts. That looks like sun chips, although it says slam, slammer, slammer chips, slammerger chips. But yeah, sun chips. There you go. <laughs> At least somebody's trying to be. Somewhat healthy. All right. Uh, did I talk to you? This is bad. We need to increase security at the. CDC. Yeah, I talked to you. Blah blah blah. CDC. Everybody's. Oh, there's there's a psychiatrist. Let's go talk to her, Delara. Delara. Take your uh, painkillers while we're here. And uh, what else you got? Oh, you got some credits. I'm gonna just borrow this. Don't, don't don't you worry your pretty head about it. Some more credits there too. Uh, Anything, anything, nothing, anything. Delaro Zin. Let's uh, look in her drawers. Oh, she's she's keeping the good stuff here. She's keeping the good stuff. Our psychologist is is a is a saucy saucy lady. It sounds like. Oh, she's got a nice picture too. Oh, security rating five. Holy hell. Uh, yes, please. I must know what she thinks <laughs> or how she thinks. 
I'm going to reverse psychologist to psychologist. Alright. Uh, preliminary meetings. Delara, you've got keen psychological instincts. You've singled out two of our most notorious lone wolves, Vince Black being the third. Chicane likes to keep to himself. He never comes in, not even for briefings, which he gets one-on-one -on -one from Director Miller at his shop helipad. Jensen's status on the counterterrorism team is ambiguous. Technically, he answers to McReady, but because he's our only augmented field agent, Director Miller will pull him away for specific assignments. Mac resents being under undermined like that, and he, and he and Jensen don't really get along to begin with. Hope that helps clear a th few things up. Good luck, Ava. Uh, to Ava Cook. Please uh, let me scroll down. That would, be, that would be awesome. There we go. Ava, since my arrival, I've been setting up getting to know you sessions with all our field operatives, but I have questions about two of them. Uh, Elias Chicane and Adam Jensen. Does Chicane come in often? Who does Jensen answer to? I assumed it was McReady. When I asked him about it, McReady's answer was terse, to say the least. Okay, just trying to, trying to learn everybody's names, I guess. Security precautions. Delara, I spoke with Jennifer earlier, and she said she'll provide you with the code to the medical cabinet. Just to let you know, until the person responsible for the infirmary thefts is caught, some specific medications, including SSRIs and beta blockers, will no longer be stored in the office safe, but in a location known only to Director Miller. Sorry for the inconvenience, but needs must. All right. Welcome package from Peter Chang. Dr. Ozen... Welcome to the task force. We've set up your computer with the default password. Please change it to something personal and private as soon as possible. That's her default password. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me. And then, Dr. Ozen, welcome to TF29. I'm thrilled you're going to be helping me take care of some of the unique personalities we have in this place. I'm really looking forward to working together. I need to explain to you how things work with regards to infirmary and access to medicine, supplies, etc. So drop on by when you're settled. We'll get a coffee from the cafe. Thanks, Jen. So if I had gotten into Peter Chang's computer. I guess I would have found this password and not had to hack hers, but oh well. Oh well, that's the thing. That's the way that goes. Uh, just got a newspaper there, ready to go. Some credits, I'll take those, thank you. Is this, uh, whose computer is this? Whose computer is this? Ava Cook, huh? Uh, is this one going to like shut me down in no time flat again? There is a you think one of them would there's pop a up one here. Let's go with this. And I guess we'll go this way. Okay. I think we got this. Alright, this is this is not working. This is not working at all. Wow. It's just everything. Everything is just so terrible here. It's not even that high a security rating. Man, they. I gotta go find the IT girl. She's got. She's got this place locked down too well. Use the feed manager to select video source. Oh, okay. Uh, is over here. Anything? No. Okay, you're just gonna look at some stuff there. There's briefing rooms. All right. I guess we gotta go upstairs and talk to our boss, huh? Now that I've gone around the the floor here and looking at everybody, staring longingly into their eyes. Also, got a men's room. There's a server rack just kind of hanging out here with the door open. What kind of security is this? Also, men's room. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Everything's good so far. None of these mirrors work. What kind of future is this where you can't even look at yourself in the mirror? Also, I have to just in 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 uh, in uh, celebration of the original Deus Ex, we we must go in the women's room. It's got to be a thing that we got to do. All right, nobody in here. Nobody. Uh, how about you? Nope. All right, Molly. How's it going? Any trouble with the plant? Patience, Alex. Trying to find the best way to access the motherboard without blowing my cover. Sorry, man. Message received. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you wanted me to do. What motherboard are you trying to get me to access? Uh, crafting parts. And anything over here? Nothing over here. Got like a weird mannequin thing. And man, this place is a mess. Jeez. Got packing peanuts all over the place. 
What is this? What's in this door? What is in this door? Oh, this is the pharmacy. Yeah, okay. Ebook. The Long Meanwhile, Chapter 1. Oh, okay. This is one of those long-winded things. I'm not going to read that. Uh, I'll take those, though. I, I unfortunately got rid of the vendor that I had that I could sell things to, so I have a lot of stuff in my inventory that I wish to sell. Dr. Daniel Fletcher. Can I get into Danny's computer? Oh, man. This is going to be a... This is going to be fun times, isn't it? Yeah, everything just comes out of that, and then there's another one out of that. Ugh. Ew, I need I need like hacking software and stuff because I'm really I'm really hurting here for stuff. Um, let's see. Yeah, I got I got nothing. I got data scan, which helps a little bit, but nothing to write home about. Um, great. Yeah, I can try going this way. Try to get that transfer going. Security rating transfer complete. Alright, so we gotta go around the horn here anyway, one way or the other, so let's let's do this. This is gonna get me get me caught, but it's the only thing I can do. Anomaly and yep. Trace program yep. initiated. Let's get over there. Granted. Excellent. Alright, we did it that time. Ah, uh, the long meanwhile. Dear Mr. Fletcher, we appreciate your submission of your mystery novella entitled The Long Meanwhile. While the pro style was interesting, if brusque, uh, we find the content a little out of our comfort zone as a company. Oh, I've, I've already read this one. Okay, I read this from the other from the other side. So this is the, the Dr. Daniel Fletcher. So he's part of TF29. Okay. Ruska train station from Debbie Connolly with only one L. Wow. Mm, interesting. Uh, Smiley, one of my friends in state police heard a rumor about you. I think you know which one I mean. I'm not going to tell anyone because your private affairs are none of my business. But if you make things between us and the cops worse than they already are, I'll have to let Miller know. You can come talk to me if you have any questions. Debbie. All right. Debbie with one L. Uh, lunch? Smiley? Yes, yes, of course I'm free. I will meet you there. Sonia. Uh, hey, Sonia, still free for lunch later? I have a big case I'm working on, but I can still spare some time for your English lesson. Let me know. <laughs> uh, English lessons. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. We have the secret stash. It's level three. So I should be able to access this, although it is going to be a freaking nightmare, it looks like. Uh, let's do data scan again. Okay, there's a firewall there. So if I were to go, perhaps, it's like 30 credits hanging out there. If I were to go this way, perhaps, does that get me? It doesn't get me really anywhere. Um, well, it kind of does. It gets me to here, which might work. Anomaly detected. There we go. Trace access granted. Excellent. That's what I was looking for. Unlock. And get me all this good stuff. Crafting parts. Breach software. Damn straight. Damn straight. I was actually kind of hoping it was pharmacy stuff, but okay. Whatever. No pharmacological stuff for me today, apparently. So, we've done that. Are these drawers all... Ah, yes. Some crafting parts. I didn't notice that that was something that I could, I could interact with. And everything else is good over there. Is there anything written on the whiteboard that I can't use? Topsy. That's written on there. Okay. Uh, hmm. So I guess we should go up top. Oh, is this? Oh, that's the psychologist's office, right? IT support. IT support. Hey, how are you? There was another attempt to breach our firewall last night. Uh, it wasn't me, I swear. Oh, hello. Hello, gyroscopic regulator. You hold now on me, IT support. Stem processor chip, hacking software. Yes, that's what I need the most right now. Oh, he closed the door for me too. Excellent. Uh, level one. All right. So sure. Let us go. Let's do one here, just in case. I don't think it really matters at this point. We just need to get to. 
all the things that we can get to. So do this. Do that. Do that. Access granted. Okay, just wanted to do as many as I could. Uh Peter Chang. Let's see. From Peter Chang to Jun Guy Coutier. Uh, JGC, new code is in place. I've asked Selena to check everything's good with Lava Wall 2, so expect to see her soon. And a word of advice, if Jim's been talking to Manderly in there, stay out of his way when he leaves, and don't ask him how his personal life is doing unless you want to be chewed out and made to feel like shit for the rest of the day. You're welcome, Chang. Oh, Manderly, huh? Uh, IT security, this is nuts. In the last week, there have been four attempts to breach our firewall. At least two are confirmed collective. And people here aren't taking security seriously enough because of everything else that's going on. They just don't get the terrorists do more than blow up buildings. I'm going to have to be the bad guy for a little bit. New security protocols, changing all the codes and pass keys. Everyone's always got something to say about me anyway, so let's give them something worthwhile. Uh, <laughs> typical IT guy right there. I've moved all your documentation on the NSN. Avatars and VR hacking, communication, etc. to the NSN computer itself and change the access code. Nice access code there, Chang. Uh, this message has been generated automatically. Door keypad code 5545. Excellent. Excellent. So is that uh, this door keypad? Uh, indeed it is. 5545. Wow, thank you very kindly. Into the server room we go. Pick up the NSN key card. Which uh, is some kind of... What is this for? The key card used to access the neural subnet server room. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm not in the neural subnet server room? I, I, guess, I guess not. Uh, and there is a... There's some stuff to crawl through. What about this computer? Do I have... I don't have a password for it. It is only level one. No one was expecting a Jensen. Uh, so... We're going to go uh, this way. Since that we can get pretty much without any problem. I'm going to grab that. And this. And this. And this. And Anomaly this. Detected. Granted. Excellent. Alright, this message has been generated automatically. New passwords, Chang, Peter, Aphasia, McGrady, Duncan, Sharp, and Black Vincent, Origami 1970. Nice. Very nice. All these things are now mine. All mine, I say. I can walk around and, and look at everybody's computers without actually having to hack them. How about them apples? Also, we got a thing to crawl through. So let's do that. Man, it's dirty as hell in here. What are you guys breathing? Oh, that would have been an easier way in there, huh? Always under the steps with these damn things. Everything's always under the steps. All the time. Always get me every time with that. Uh, Alright. So that said, where are these? I think I saw a few computers down here, right? I can't hack the one that that guy's actually standing on. Um, was the one guy's computer down here? Is that the one that I... Is it this one? Uh, that's McTavish. Alright. Well, this is still level one. I think we can do this. I think this is the thing we can do. Alright. Come on. Come on. Get through it. Get through it. Excellent. Go. VersaLife, McTavish! It's come to my attention you've been using TF-29 resources to investigate VersaLife and the Chinese government. TF-29 does not lend credence to Samizat's claims about secret chemical weapons. You've been assigned to investigate the bombings. That is your one and only priority. This is not the first time I've had to get you back on point. Consider this an official reprimand. Director Miller. <laughs> ah, he got chewed out, apparently. Ark. Uh, they did? Jesus, what more proof do people need, then? Reference email. Because the last time they tried that, the Augs kicked their asses. Uh, everybody knows Ark is responsible for the bombing. Why the hell don't the cops just raid their HQ and gall them? Right. Uh, right. Okay. Everybody's everybody's blaming the Augs. Or the Augs. <laughs> the Augs. <laughs> Everything's just falling into place now. Is this the one guy's computer? Clements. No, this is, uh, this is the one I couldn't really get into, right? Um, oh, I can do a reveal now. Let's do that. That will make life a little bit easier. Let's do a data scan as well. Um, Alright, so we just really have to go this way. That's all we really have to do. 
Couldn't even do that last time. There it is. I don't know why that was so hard before. Uh, Clements, I've been worried about Vince lately. He stays away for longer periods of time, keeps us less up to date, and on those incredibly rare, rare occasions when I do see him, he's uncommunicative, even more so than usual. Maybe nothing but going undercover changes people. This is a fact. So on to the on the QT, could you maybe see if there's anything out there that uh, in the ether about him? Whether he's in danger of being blown, whether he's gone in too deep, that kind of thing? Thanks. Oh, you are. Clements, what you're asking is something everybody should know, so don't feel stupid for him asking. TF-29 is mandated to investigate and combat terrorism, both physical and in cyberspace. The reason we have an OCD at all is that most crime facilities, families, do business with known terrorists, so it's always a good target for monitoring. As long as we can demonstrate a connection between our target and terrorist interests, it's our jurisdiction. But until then, we have to let local law enforcement take the lead. That creates a lot of gray area and ambiguity, leading to frustration and bad blood all around. For my fellow... From what my fellow liaisons tell me, Prague is one of the hardest cities to do the job because the percentage of the cops are on the Diwali payroll because the Georgians are very likely, unlikely to actually do business with all terrorists. Um, I know this really isn't my business, but since CF-29 was specifically created to pursue terrorist organizations smoothly without the usual red tape, I don't understand why we have so many problems with the state police. As soon as organized crime crosses the international borders, doesn't that make it our jurisdiction? Yeah, well, apparently not, Clements. Apparently not. Uh, Alright, so where are these other other computers here that I did not see? I guess I guess I've seen all the computers that I can see. I think I've I've hacked all the things that I can hack. What is oh that's just another I was like, is that is that a hacking software there? Nope, that's just that's just me seeing things that aren't where they are. Um How do I get upstairs now? Is there an elevator? Oh there's there's <laughs> The steps that I was just under earlier, I should probably use those. That that would that would help matters a bit. Adam, you're here. You made it in. It's good to see you're okay. Hey, how are you? Yeah, it was a close call. I got lucky. A lot of people didn't. I was here working when the first reports came in. It was chaos. Phones ringing off the hook, people yelling, scrambling to find out what was going on. Then when Miller told me you were there, I... I'm all right. Good. You looking for him? Because he's tied up right now in meeting with Lyon, I think. Really? He's using the NSN right now? Yeah, I just saw him. Oh, hey, that reminds me, here's yours. What's this? The card for the shooting range. Chang changed all the codes this morning, said something about only giving access to people he's vetted personally. The bombing really freaked him out. Third one in six months, can you believe it? I just... I'm really glad you're okay. Thanks, Aria. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Yeah, I better get back downstairs. It's gonna be a busy day. Come by later if you want to talk. Copy that. Oh, I'll come by later. I'll come by later multiple times. Yeah, that, that didn't really sound right, did it? <laughs>